Hey! Hi! How are you doing? This is the Gamertron, and welcome back to the Gamertron Show. I got some really good news, but also some disappointing news. The Titanfall 2 Multiplayer Tech Test is happening this month. The Titanfall 2 Multiplayer Tech Test is happening the later half of August. While certain details, like if it will be free entirely to the public or only people that sign up for the tech test, stuff like that isn't 100% clear. However, the overall important factor, people will be able to test out and try Titanfall 2's multiplayer component, or at least a portion of it, an early build, with of course a limited amount of content. It's basically like a beta, where players will get to test out the game, stress test the game servers, give the developers feedback, all that good stuff. However, the Titanfall 2 multiplayer tech test is only happening on Xbox One and PlayStation 4. It is not happening on PC. Now, as you can guess, as I am a huge fan of Titanfall, and a PC-only gamer, you probably have guessed that I'm pretty disappointed by this news. And I am, it's, it is disappointing news. But the man himself, the director, the head of Respawn Entertainment, the developer of Titanfall, the man whom with his team were responsible for the creation of the good Call of Duty video games when Call of Duty had a soul, the original Medal of Honor games, and of course the first Titanfall. Now, Vince Ampella has stated that the tech test isn't coming to PC because of hackers. And we're not talking about your typical multiplayer hackers. You know the kinds that cheat, use aimbots, wall hacks, that sort of jazz. The first Titanfall already had a pretty awesome system in place that took care of hackers on PC. Hackers on Titanfall on PC were not a really big issue. They had a really awesome system in place. That hackers, when they're hacking or their hacking software was detected, they were placed into a private server and trapped in that private server as long as their hacking software was online, and in that private server, hackers could only play with one another. Basically, all the people that were hacking in Titanfall were barred away from all the regular non-hacking players, and the hackers were forced to play with one another. And that was glorious. I'm sure you heard about it in the news when Titanfall first came out. It is hilarious and glorious. No other games have used Titanfall's system of security against hackers, which is a shame because the first Titanfall and how they handled hackers with their security, it was, it was genius. It was genius. So Respawn and Vince Pella, they're not worried about hackers with Titanfall 2 on PC. The hackers Mr. Vince Pella is referring to are the kind of hackers that will data mine the tech test and use the tech test as a way to get information about the full game that hasn't been released yet. Basically, leak and spoil a bunch of information that Respawn doesn't want everybody to know about. This happens with every game. One example is Doom, and I, I feel really bad about this. In one of my Doom news hype videos that I made for the game, I talked about a early leak and spoiler for the campaign that was discovered through the multiplayer alpha that was being given to specific people. And through the multiplayer alpha that people were given, there were some that hacked the game, data mined the game, and found stuff out about the multiplayer and the main campaign and spoiled it, including the final boss of Doom, the Spider Mastermind. And I, I feel bad. To this day, I really regret making this video because I spoiled the final boss for some people. I was so excited for the new Doom and just craving for information that I didn't stop to think, hey, maybe I'm spoiling the game and ruining someone else's experience. I didn't think about it. I was just so excited for news and information about the game that when I reported on this leak, I didn't think of the negative consequences. So looking back on that and looking at what Respawn and Vince Pella are doing with Titanfall 2 and keeping the tech test away from PC, I kind of understand it because also in the announcement that Vince Pella made on his reasons why the tech test isn't coming to PC, he said specifically he doesn't want hackers to data mine the game and find out and leak spoilers about the single player campaign. I'm going to directly quote from the announcement here. Also because the single player story has some wonderful secrets that we really want to preserve for launch, we also have to worry about leaks. Our wonderfully curious PC players have proven in the past that they will dig out anything they can and there's a risk that they could spoil some of our single player. And you know what? I can't help but respect and understand that. The past few years when there have been these betas and sneak peeks and early access demos, these sort of things, to AAA games, hackers data mined the shit out of them, found out a bunch of information about the games about the full product, and leaked it on the web. And as much as I am craving more information on Titanfall 2, I will eat up any information on the game 
that I can get. There are some things I don't want spoiled, like once the game is released, spoil away. My philosophy on spoilers is once something is out, once something is released to the public on the date it was supposed to be released, expect spoilers. I don't get upset if something is spoiled after something has just been released. It's expected. It's new. People are seeing it, playing it, whatever. They're talking about it. It just came out. They just saw it, play it, whatever. They're going to talk about it. I expect spoilers of something that is already out. But for something that hasn't been released yet, then I don't want any spoilers. It's not out yet. It's not released to the public. And if you release information, if you release leaks, if you release spoilers to the public before this thing is even out yet, then you're going to kind of ruin it for everybody. Because then no one anywhere will get the joy of experiencing it brand new for the first time. So spoilers after something comes out is completely reasonable, understandable. Spoilers before that thing is out, that's that's crossing the line, at least in my opinion. So you know what? I don't want hackers on PC to data mine the tech test and find out how many missions are in the single player campaign, how many weapons or boss battles there are, or God forbid details on the actual ending of the game. I don't want to know any of that. I don't want that spoiled for me. Hell, I don't want that spoiled for anybody. I want people who purchased the game or pre-ordered the game day one to discover all of that for themselves, not some hacker. Now, believe me, like I said earlier, I am craving for information on Titanfall 2. If there is a video game I am looking forward to that I'm excited about, I want information. I absolutely want information. But there are certain details before a game that is released, especially single-player story details, that I don't want spoiled for me or anyone else until the game comes out. When Titanfall 2 is out, when the game is released to the public, spoil away. It's out, it's available for general consumption, it's in people's hands, they can do what they want with it. But until the game is out, let's keep certain information to a minimum. Now there is some information we of course should want to know. Like, what is the estimated length of the single player campaign? How many hours can we expect to get out of it depending on what difficulty we select, so on and so forth. Of course we want to know multiplayer details, we want to know how many multiplayer game modes are in the game, like that's important. How many multiplayer maps are in the game? That's that's important stuff. Getting some news and details on those free other titans that haven't been revealed yet. You know, that sort of jazz. Stuff that is important to the consumer and their decision as to whether or not this game's going to be for them, whether they feel it's enough to invest their money in. Those kind of details are important. But yeah, when it comes to the single player campaign, I can understand Respawn and Mr. Zampella's stance on wanting players who get this game day one to actually be surprised. They don't want to have the ending spoiled or some awesome set piece spoiled by some hacker who data mined and leaked the stuff on the internet? I get that, I understand that, am I still disappointed? Well yeah, as a huge fan of Titanfall, and of course as a PC only gamer, I'm of course disappointed, how could I not be disappointed? But you know what, I'm not angry, I'm not upset, I'm just disappointed, but it's an understandable disappointment. Ah, uh, so what? I don't get early access to Titanfall 2, I don't get to demo a small portion of the multiplayer content, I'll just have to wait, like everyone else, for when Titanfall 2 is finally released. But you, yes you, if you own an Xbox One or PlayStation 4, are you going to be participating in the Titanfall 2 multiplayer tech test? Let me know in the comments below if you're excited for Titanfall 2, what you think of this news. Let me know your thoughts, feelings, and opinions in the comment section below. I love reading comments. I get nearly enough comments. Please leave a comment. If you like the video in any way, shape, or form, please hit the like button. Hitting the like button helps you, helps me, helps everybody involved with the video if you hit the like button. If you want to help out and support this video, then please share it on social media, Twitter, and Facebook. And if you want to help out and support me directly, then please consider pledging and becoming a patron on my Patreon. Anyways guys, that's been a video, and I'll see you all later.